I want to find the double integral over the region R of x squared plus y dA, where R is bounded by y equals x and y equals x cubed. And x is greater than or equal to 0. So that means we're, this is our region. Okay, so x greater than, than or equal to 0 means we're in the first quadrant. OK, so now we can integrate. Because we're going to do dy dx first, um, so our rectangles are going to be vertical. So the bottom part of the graph is y equals x cubed, and the top is y equals x. Now they intersect at 0, 0, and then here at 1, 1. So you can see where they intersect by setting x equal to x cubed, and then you can have, okay, x cubed minus x equals 0, x times x squared minus 1 equals 0, and you would get x is 0 plus or minus 1. But because we're looking in the first quadrant, we're going to drop the negative one. OK, so now y values go from 0 to 1. And let's integrate. So first we're doing with respect to y. x squared is a constant, so we're going to put in y in front. And then it's going to be y squared over 2 from x cubed to x. And then we're going to take another integral from 0 to 1 with respect to x. Now we're going to plug in x for y to get x cubed plus x squared over 2. And then I'm going to subtract it when I plug in x cubed for y. That would be x to the fifth plus x to the sixth over 2. We're going to integrate that from 0 to 1 with respect to x. And notice I cannot simplify the inside integral, so I'm just going to use a power rule and get x to the fourth over 4 plus x cubed over 6 minus x to the sixth over 6. And that should be minus x to the seventh over 14. And we're going from 0 to 1. So I need, here I need to plug in 1 and plug in 0. But when I plug in 0, I just get 0, so I'm not going to bother. That's 1 fourth plus 1 sixth minus 1 sixth minus 1 over 14. The 1 over 6s are going to cancel, and we're left with 1 over 4 minus 1 over 14. And so the final answer is 5 over 28. Okay, So this method was using dy dx. Now let's flip it. Let's do dx dy. So let's see what changes. OK, so notice my rectangles are going to go sideways now. So um, it looks something like this. So I'm going to have the integral still, x squared plus y. And then we're going to do dx dy. So if the first limits will be x equals, because we're doing dx. So you always start with the left one. The left one is the line y equals x. So that means x is equal to y. And on the right is the green function, which is y equals x cubed. All right, so if I solve for x, I get x is the cube root of y. And y now goes from 0 to 1. Okay, So the lowest point is 0, the highest point is 1. OK, so now I'm going to integrate this with respect to x first. So that's x cubed over 3 plus xy from y to cube root of y. And then we're going to take that result integrated from 0 to 1 with respect to y. So first I'm going to plug in cube root of y. But if I plug in cube root of y in for x cubed, or for x, I get the cube root of y cubed, which is just y. Then I'm going to divide that by 3. Plus, if I plug in x equals cube root of y, I get y to the 4 thirds. And I'm subtracting when I plug in x equals y. So that's y cubed over 3. 
plus y squared. So now I'm going to integrate this with respect to y. So it's y squared over 6 plus 3 over 7 y to the 7 thirds minus y to the 4th over 12 minus y cubed over 3 going from 0 to 1. So I'm going to plug in 1 to get 1 sixth plus 3 sevenths minus 1 twelfth minus 1 third. And if I plug in 0, I just get 0. So I'm not going to bother with that. And this simplifies to 5 over 28. And that's my final answer.